A huge part of getting good at Smash is achieving complete control over your character. One of the most essential aspects of control is being able to use your attacks in any way you like. To master your aerial and ground games, you'll need to learn both the reverse aerial rush or the RAR technique, as well as pivot tilts with the reverse ground rush. Alright, all this sounds a little bit confusing to some of you newer players, but don't worry, we'll explain all of that in this video. But before we get started, make sure to check out ProGuides.com for more Smash content, our character tier list, and even instant access to experienced coaches via InstaPro. Our new Pro Pass will give you even more content like this on our channel, and it's bundled with all the different esports titles that you enjoy. Alright, so now let's learn some tech. So what is the RAR technique? Well, the RAR technique is going to let you run forward and jump with your back facing forward. This is useful so you can approach an opponent with your back air, or really any hitbox that works better behind you. To execute a true RAR, you'll first need to run forward for a short distance to get from your initial dash to a full run. Once you're running, pressing backwards on the left stick will cause your character to enter a skidding animation. As soon as this animation begins, you'll be facing backward, and you can cancel this skid with a jump at any time. Out of this jump, you can then do anything you like. This includes a rising aerial, a falling aerial, a tomahawk, a double jump, or anything else you may want to do. Let's take a closer look at the inputs. First, run forward. Then, after you've run a short distance, hold back on the left stick, and then jump. As soon as you input jump, you can hold forward again to continue drifting forward. If you're jumping without getting the turnaround, you're inputting jump too early and not after holding back. For a clean and efficient RAR, you'll want to jump as soon as possible after turning around. Practicing this first at a slower speed in training can help you learn the timing. Now, what if you want to do a turnaround aerial immediately out of your initial dash before it turns into a full run? Well, a true RAR in this window is impossible, but there are a few ways to still achieve the same result. The first method is by attack cancelling. Dash forward, then hold back on the C-stick, and then immediately press jump while still holding both sticks. You can learn more about attack cancelling in our dedicated video on the technique linked in the description. This method will force you to perform a rising aerial, but with the next method you can get a turnaround jump to use however you like. Just like a RAR, dash forward and then hold back on the left stick. While holding back, input jump. To make this easier and avoid dashing back, you can opt to hold diagonally up and back on the left stick instead. Just keep in mind this works best with stick jump turned off. RARing is a super important technique as many characters rely on their back air as their main approach and spacing option. Many combos and kill confirms also require you to RAR in order to close out the stock. Okay, now let's talk about your grounded options. Unlike previous titles, Smash Ultimate lets you perform much more than just dash attack and up smash out of a full run. In fact, you can use any attack out of your run, including any normal smash attack or special move. Additionally, you can perform these options out of the skid animation we mentioned earlier that's used in the reverse aerial rush. This can be very useful for certain techniques such as Fox's up tilt. Because moves like this hit mostly behind the character, you're normally only able to hit opponents who are behind you, or in some cases, above you. Thanks to the reverse ground rush technique, you can use moves like these to approach and hit opponents in front of you. The input is very similar to a RAR, but even simpler. First, run forward, then once you've dashed for a short distance, hold back on the left stick and then input the attack of your choice. It's easiest to input this attack with the C stick. Since this will usually be done with tilts, you should set your C stick to tilt attack. I have two custom controls that I use, one with smash bound to my C stick and one with tilt attack bound to my C stick. For these techniques, you can toggle them on and off depending on which character you use. There's another neat trick that you can get from reversing your dash before a tilt. By doing a reverse ground rush with a tilt that makes your character turn around and face forward, you can slide while attacking. This technique is called pivot cancelling and is most commonly done with forward tilts. Once again, start by dashing forward for a short distance, then hold back at any time to skid once again. While still holding back, input your tilt with the C-stick, and if done fast enough, you'll slide forward during the tilt. This technique doesn't work with every attack, but it's very effective with the ones it does. 
Some characters like Krom and Roy can use pivot cancels to get deadly follow-ups on a missed tech. All right, that's it for the video. Make sure you guys train hard and we're sure you'll master these techniques in no time. Let us know in the comments what advanced technique you want us to cover next. And if you guys are interested in the zero course that we have on pro guides, then click that description link below. Or if you want to get a great coach to help you out, you can find that there too. Click subscribe on our YouTube channel if you guys want to see more content like this. That's it for the vid. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.